Welcome to this James Bike Guy, where today we're going to go for a blast in the past where I recorded a video all the way back in summer of 2021 when I got a new pair of Bontrager Covey Pro 30s. These are some carbon fiber XC to trail level 29er wheels and I've ridden them for the last two years and figured it's time to release my first initial impressions and then of course let you know what I think after two years of riding these wheels and still owning them. So if this kind of thing's interesting to you, go ahead and stick with me. Let's get through the 2021 footage and then talk about how my experience has been with them. So the Kobe Pro 30 is a mid-priced wheel set from Bontrager that they claim to have that pro level performance from a variety of features that are on this wheel. Now, this is a new part number for 2021, so I'm not sure exactly what's been revised because uh, all of the specs seem to be the same, but in general, these are pretty nice. Now, personally, I've had a set of the Kobe Elite 30 carbon wheels, and these are very similar. They're gonna run the same 30 millimeter wide carbon fiber rim. This is Bontrager's own OCLV carbon fiber that you'd see in some of the Trek mountain bikes. And one thing that I really like about the setup is of course it's tubeless ready, but you see this kind of plastic strip that's on the inside? Well, that's on purpose because the plastic strip allows the tire to mount up with a really tight seat. And personally, I've been able to set up carbon wheels like this from Bontrager with, without even a compressor. Now the wheel set is of course boost front and rear. They're gonna run the Bontrager rapid drive hubs which have a six bolt disc interface. And if we take a look at the back, we can see where that rapid drive really comes into its own. So the rapid drive is available in two different formats and this setup is gonna be the nicer one. Bontrager's own design in here, but this is gonna have six pulls and 108 teeth of engagement. And that means when you're taking a look at the hub and the drive ring that's in there, there's some really fine machining that's inside, and it's gonna give very fast uptake and very little slop between pedal strokes. Now, of course, it also sounds pretty cool. and that high engagement is gonna allow these wheels to perform just that much better. We're lacing up to this carbon fiber rim using bladed spokes that go 14, 17 to 14 budded steel spokes. They've got aluminum nipples to help save some weight. It comes with these nice color matched anodized black valve stems and overall should be a pretty sweet package. So now that we've taken a look at some of the quick features of this wheel set, Let's go ahead, mount them up on the bike, and we'll find out if they live up to that pro level performance. Welcome back to 2023, where I've now had almost two years of riding on these Bontrager Covey Pro 30 wheels. These wheels have treated me really well. I'm a rider of about 220 pounds, so fairly heavy weight, and I have had nothing but success with the wheels. Basically, in my time with them, the couple of things that I've really enjoyed about them have been, first off, the weight. As you'll see when we close out the video, they are very light. And especially for a trail capable wheel, I've been impressed with both the durability as well as the lightweight performance. Basically, when you have a lightweight wheel, it's able to spin up quicker, make your climbs up hills easier, and overall make the bike feel a bit lighter on its feet but also because they're carbon and the way they're laced up with those butted spokes, they're pretty snappy and they do accelerate quickly as well. Another big point to these wheels is of course that Bontrager rapid drive hub and the rapid drive hub having 108 teeth of engagement has made it very efficient as far as short strokes of the pedals, being able to get that engagement to get through small rock gardens and things like that as well. The only things that I really dislike about these wheels, effectively one which you can't change, is of course the, the branding and the Bontrager and that sort of thing. Now, having had these on two specialized stump jumpers, one stump jumper and one stump jumper Evo, you know, they did look a little bit funny on a specialized bike, but luckily the decaling and everything is pretty subtle. I do also know that the original part number that I mentioned earlier in the video, it turns out that many of the original part numbers 
ended up having a carbon rim that was not as strong as it should have been. Looks like Bontrager and Trek have updated that, and for this wheel set, which is carried forward, it hasn't been seeming to have that same issue. The other thing that's been changed, which gives me a bit more uh, peace of mind with these Sorry. wheels, as well as just my own riding experience, is the Bontrager wheels now all are warrantied for life, as well as they have a pretty solid crash replacement program should you damage them in some sort of accident. Well anyways, these have definitely worked out pretty well, and I think it's time to find out what they weigh. Now as we begin to weigh these wheels, I should mention they do have the plastic rim strip and the valve mounted in here. So they will come out a bit heavier than the claimed weight. Starting with the rear, the claimed weight was 820 grams. So we'll see with everything in there comes in at 936, which honestly is pretty reasonable considering the valve and the rim strip. And then the rear has a claimed weight of 680 grams. And we'll go ahead and see that those come in right at 800. So again, not too bad, all things considered. 